This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, talking about world-class benchmarking for the company AKR Corporindo in Indonesia. A little background on the company. It was born as a small chemical trading business over 55 years in Surabaya. And it's grown to become one of the Indonesia's largest private sector distributors of basic chemicals, petroleum logistics, and supply chain solutions. The founding Adi Cosimo family owns 59% of the shares via its holding company. The company has a market capitalization of about $2 billion U.S. dollars, an average daily turnover of $2 million. The beta is one. What's going on at the company? AKRA is the dis- biggest distributor by volume of petroleum and basic chemical products in Indonesia, which are the main revenue sources for the company. The steady growth of this division has been supported by diversification into related midstream and downstream services. The non-subsidized retail fuel market has now risen to about 80% of the company's total fuel consumption. Thanks to a high market share, Acra has been able to increase its prices to consumers, thus more than offsetting lower subsidies. The remainder of revenue is generated by Acra's downstream services which range from manufacturing and logistics to petrol stations, as well as investments in an industrial estate. As of the end of 2015, aqua storage tanks for fuel and basic chemicals have an existing total capacity of 656,000 kiloliters. Aqua also has nine seaports and six river ports in Indonesia and five river ports in China equipped with vessels and inland transportation units. It had 129 petrol stations at the end of 2015 and planned to add about 25 more in 2016. Now, let's look at the revenue breakdown. The nine months 26 by segment is 68% petroleum distribution, 21% basic chemical distribution, and 11% logistics, manufacturing, and others. Now, let's look at the company's world-class benchmarking score. So, first, we look at the company's uh, chairman, or in Indonesia called President Commissioner, and Sogitar Gartro uh, is the chairman and has been since 1992. And another uh, family member, Haryanto, has also been there over the same amount of time since 1992, so very stable at the top. Now let's look at the world-class benchmarking score and we can see that profitable growth declined to a number three in the past 12 months from two in 2015. This ranks it among the best 423 of 1,410 large industrial companies worldwide. Profitability has been above the last five years. In fact, in 2015, it hit two and in past 12 months, it's been three. Growth, unfortunately, has been hit, and in the past 12 months, it has been ranked at a number seven. Asset utilization has been declining, but profit margin has improved, so it's a mixed bag. The growth of EPS has been driven mainly by margin change, not by sales growth, which has been hit very hard. Part of that sales growth has to do, I'm sure, with prices of, of oil and other uh, petrochem products. Anyways, what we can see is a pretty good performance here at a two or three in the last uh, two periods. Now, sign up for our free newsletter and get instant access to become to, to get more investment knowledge. Do it at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join.